do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something a little different, you know what I'm saying? We have a compilation today of a bunch of instances that shows you what happens when dudes stop simping over girls. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been saying this for the past three, four years. You know what I'm saying? Girls do not want a nice guy. Unfortunately, girls do not want a nice guy. They want a guy who treats them like crap. Who gives, well, doesn't treat them like crap. I don't mean like abusing them and all that. But I mean that, that doesn't give them any attention. Who is mean to them, you know what I'm saying? Well, fake mean to them and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? They don't want a nice guy that's just simping over them. That's not what girls want. The problem that girls be running into is that they want a bad guy in the beginning. But then when they together in a relationship, they want a nice guy. They try and turn that bad guy into a nice guy. But that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? That you have to get a good guy. And he has to stay a good guy. You can't change a bad guy that doesn't give you attention, that doesn't, that has all these toxic traits that girls love. You know what I'm saying? You can't change him once y'all are in a relationship when you want a nice guy. Because girls want a nice guy in a relationship. They don't want a nice guy when they're trying to get him. You know what I'm saying? So that would be the, the little dilemma. But today we finna see what happens when you listen to Juvie and you stop simping over these girls. Focus on yourself, my guy. Pay these girls zero mind and they will come to you. I'm telling you, I've been if you've been following my channel, bro, I've been saying this for the longest time. Just just do you and girls will want to do you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you and girls will want to do you. But if you're gonna hop into this video, if you're excited, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? And before we get into it. Jura.com, you can buy two and get the third one for free, or you can bundle up and sing stuff $50. Let's go, let's go. When men stop simping. What is going on guys, Shot Clips here once again, and this video we're going to check out some wild clips of moments where men stop simping. My favorite clip like always will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it, but this first one it is definitely not good either. I guess this guy is talking to these girls on Omegle until one of them asks for a compliment. Let's just say they were not happy with the answer. Huh? <sighs> Ten. Typical men. What do you mean, typical man? Do you have a cat? A cat? No, I don't have a dog. Do you think I'm pretty? No. Don't take offense. You don't need validation from me. I men who bet look like you they have balls. Mm -hmm. They haven't even dropped yet. And this actually we have. This girl who's trying to, I guess, kiss this guy during a dance. This is what she ended up doing. She smacked him? And this next one we have this one. Wait a minute. To... Wait. She smacked him? Come on now. Be realistic, bro. Like, come on. You can't. <sighs> because he ain't want to kiss your little thought lips, you go smack him. Your lips been all over everybody on the football field's peanut wiener multiple times. Every single Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and three times on Thursday, too. Come on now. And this next one, we have this woman who's trying to propose to her boyfriend. I guess he's not down for that, so he ends up rejecting her. And uh, he tried helping her out because like, he just feels bad. So she decides to do this to him instead, though. Please come back. Imagine as a girl, you propose to the dude, right? And you don't just propose to him, that's not it, but you do it in a public place and he rejects you, like, come on. You're, you're at the bottom level of everything, this. Like, that's, that's very embarrassing. Overall, it's very, very highly embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think girls should propose to dudes. I think that is the dude's responsibility. And girls, if you do want to propose to your dude, make sure he would say yes beforehand and don't do it in a public place because that's... It would be even worse if, like I said, he rejects you. Please say yes. Please say yes. Please say yes. Do that back line. Oh, yeah. For you. Please say yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, please. Please say yes. She 
yes. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. He, she slapped him? Hey. <laughs> Don't say yes. <laughs> At the beast. And this next one's absolutely insane. And men, please. Who's the, somebody in the background said just say yes after that? <laughs> Please watch out if this ever happens. This girl is calling from a different state, saying she needs three hundred dollars because she needs a ride somewhere. I guess it happened multiple times with this guy, and he got fed up with it, so he decides to roast her right on camera. Check out this clip. What you say? I'm in Miami. Good. What did you say? Start from the top. I'm thirty-three dollars. I have twenty dollars. I'm stranded out here. I'd be wasting all my bread, and I got over yesterday. You said you wasted all your bread. How did you even reach the end? I, I, I will open up as soon as I touch. Oh, what is our play? You play oh, on, and it records. No, I don't need you can choose ad exactly right what you want to record, right whether it be so pills, cysts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You done went from a flight to Uber. Like, how we doing this? Because, yo, you feel me? Like, this shit looking wild now. You talking about Uber and I'm supposed to pay you a flight? You asking me for 300 cash app and you know cash app take a fee. I ain't hear from you in since August. Can you listen? I'm listening. What you saying? I have four suitcases. Four suitcases? Is you moving to Miami? What? what, what, what what's going on? Yeah. You better swallow them shits. What? You better swallow them motherfuckers. Suitcases. You I'm talking about what type of, shit I'm on. What type of shit you want. You what type you want? Unexpected type of shit is what you on. You bust up two cup curry duck. What? Listen, listen. Now you just got me hot as. In this next one, guys, this is a perfect way to how to reject a lady. I guess she was still down for him even after rejection. That's my husband. Dread. Then he broke Come my heart on. by having a wife. You single? The ladies want to know. I'm the lady. Are you single? Oh. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. That was almost my husband. He just told me I was beautiful. And this is next one, I guess, this guy. I don't know what happened there. He he said he's what married, and then he called her beautiful. I would never. I was on FaceTime with this girl for too long, and after she starts crying about it, he decides to send her this. I found it absolutely hilarious. Two seconds later. Ma'am, ma'am, it's in the AMs. Do I look like I work at Amazon to be doing night shifts with you? Do I look like my name's Kanye West to be simping over you? Are you skunked? Bro, there's four billion guys in this world. I'm not that guy. Might as well call me Asa Rocky. But hey, hear this, hear this, hear this. If you want me to stay on FaceTime to you, that's £10 per hour. And if you want, you could apply for that I have nothing better to do bungle. Because you clearly have nothing better to do. And this next one this father is seeing his daughter do some strange dances on TikTok. Guys, let me know what you guys would do if you saw your daughter doing this. Why is he staring at her like that? He's a weirdo. She's a weirdo. What the heck is she doing? She's off her meds. And this next was actually a big clip. Basically, there's this girl. She ends up spitting on Logan Paul. And instead of him actually, like, flipping out, he chased her down and said a couple words that she will for sure remember. Check out this clip. What the heck is wrong with people? You just did a drive-by spitting on somebody? I mean, I... If I have security, I'm sick of the security on you. I ain't finna hit you because I, I don't hit girls. But if you spit on me, I don't know if you a girl no more. You know, I might not see a girl no more. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> she didn't even spit on me. She didn't make contact. No, cool, dude. I don't know if that's what life's about. I'm sorry. Not she... really. Okay. No. I, well, listen, I got nothing but love for you, okay? Thank you. Nothing but love? I don't really respect you that much. All good. I, I've got nothing but love for you. Respect, you empathy, everything. That's, for that's, real. That's so cool. Do you like my jacket on? Well, I do. I like everything <laughs> about you. But in the future, <laughs> not cool to spit on people. <laughs> and then run away. <laughs> and if you are going to run, run away, you got to be faster than that. I'm not that fast. It's okay. I know. I can tell. We caught up to you. But. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually this girl thinks she's getting flirt. That's it, jo Logan? That's it, Mr. Logan Paul? I mean, you can't really do nothing, but... What is this on my screen now? What am I watching? Started with at Burger King. Check out the end of the clip. It may surprise you. The guy had a crush on me at Burger King because he gave me three sauces, and usually they forget my sauce. I think that's, like, a little way of him saying, yeah, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. This is horrible. He just didn't want to lose their... <laughs> their best customer that's horrible but i was thinking something like that but that's mean that's really mean 
but <laughs> I think that's like a little way of him saying, "Yeah, you're cute." <laughs> And this next one is absolutely hilarious and guys i guess let me know what you guys would do i guess his girlfriend said yo some guy's flirting with me he comes up saying yo he's flirting and she points at the biggest guy in the gym i probably would try doing something but i'm not really sure check out this clip this guy is hitting on me to see his reaction he's looking for me he's going the wrong way Yeah, I'm not going outside like that. That's need to tell me if that's need to text me something like that. Then I, I, I come there as some dude that's like six, seven, two hundred and fifty pounds of pure muscle. You know how many dumbbells dumbbells is in the thing? You know what I'm saying? One of them was going to the man's head. Like, I'm not scared of you, bro. Do I look scared of you, my guy? No, because I'm not. And this next one, I guess there's this kiss cam, and the guy did not want to kiss her. So she decides to do this instead. She finna throw the water on him. Whoa, what the f What the? And this next one, this clip is absolutely disgusting, and women like this should feel horrible about themselves. This girl is explaining how she cheated on her man. Once my boyfriend was asleep, so I wanted to go fuck my ex real quick, so I drove down to the gas station, let him cream pie me, and then I came home to sneak into bed. My boyfriend woke up and then wanted to fuck me, and he started eating me out and told me how good my pussy tastes, and he's eating my ex's cum out of me, and I never told him. And this next. And she happy about this. Like, what the? F Look at her facial expression. This is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? This is disgusting. Like, and this is, if you watch my other video about the whole, like, girls, they day and they prime between, like, 20 and 25 and all that, and they want to be, like, thotting around and all that, and then when they get to 35 or, or 30 years old, they want to settle down and find a good husband, there ain't no more good husbands left. This is the perfect example of that. Look how happy this girl is, bro. After this beat. And this next this clip is absolutely disgusting, and women like this should feel. Just, just play the thing, bro. Fuck my ex real quick, so I drove down to the gas station, let him cream pie me, and then I came home to sneak into bed. My boyfriend woke up and then wanted to fuck me, and he started eating me out and told me how good my pussy tastes, and he's eating my ex's cum out of me, and I never told him. And this next one, this girl is, I guess, on a pad. She's happy and excited about that. She's a horrible person. Because not understanding why men won't choose girls with a lot of bodies. I don't know. I thought it was self-explanatory. To be honest, for me, it has nothing to do with being insecure. I think you just have a higher chance of getting cheated on if she does. I feel like with you guys, you're like, oh, like, she's been passed around the whole team. We can't wipe you up because you had A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And she's like, okay, but like, I was in my face and like, I like you. And I feel like a lot of guys won't like concentrate on that one girl because she's been passed around i'll be real with you if she's been passed around and i know who she's been passed around with yeah can't do it yeah. Yeah. i'd rather not know because i know everybody has a past so yeah. i'm not gonna go attacking you about your past but That's if i true. know the guys that you've been with especially if i'm close with them mm -hmm. no chance now after watching that clip check out this one this is exactly what i mean what's something y'all did that nobody knows about i had a three with my best friend and my fiance's best friend. My fiance wasn't there. So he doesn't know about it. You guys are crazy. And this next time we have this guy, I guess. You just admitted to that on camera, you stupid thought. We see you. You're caught in 4K. Well, like 360p, because this camera quality is trash. But we see you. And we see your friends. They all hit. All, of the, all, all three of y'all's hit. Y'all. Two and a half. Best friend. My fiance wasn't there. So he doesn't know about it. You guys are crazy. And this next time we have this guy. I guess he danced with the bridesmaid. And she was so mad. She starts screaming up a whole storm. Check out this clip. And this next time this guy got really ticked. She sounds like a demon. I'm calling the wedding off for that. Listen, she listen to her. She sounds like a demon. Listen. You're 
And this next one, this guy got really ticked off from this comment about why women can't really wear everything they want to. And he gives a perfect analogy to explain himself. My guy here made a video. He said, when I ask her, she could maybe not wear a see-through shirt with no bra. On. Simple joke, right? I go to the comments. She can wear what she wants. We know! Nobody's saying that. Is it okay for me to go outside with see-through shorts on and have my sausage hanging around? I don't think so. It's common sense. Next! In this next one, we have this woman. I guess she's describing why, like, people are falling in love differently than they did in the past. Which, to be honest, I somewhat disagree with. Just because, like, times are changing doesn't mean people can't fall in love the same way they did a thousand years ago and still be loyal the exact same way. It shouldn't have to change just because the law allows us to. Don't yeah. buy the idea that there is a one and only. We used to marry till death do us apart. Today we marry till love dies. We used to marry and have sex for the first time. Today you marry and you stop having sex with others. You used to have monogamy, one person for life, and today monogamy is one person at a time. And everybody says I'm monogamous in all my relationships. Yeah. And it supposedly makes sense. So the, the, the norms are changing so fast. There is nothing you can do when you leave a person than to tell them so sorry that you're hurting them and you have loved them deeply and you wish them the best and you thank them for everything they've given you and you wish for them the best and yet you're going to go and it is just raw pain you can't circumvent that heartbreak is heartbreak and now in this clip we have this woman who i'm not gonna lie she kind of speaking facts like that's that that is the big change between like the new age like marriage and like older marriage you know what i'm saying it's I, I kind of agree with some of the stuff she was saying. He said he don't agree. I don't know what the heck he said he ain't agree about, but I, I think she was saying facts. Let me know in the comments down below, but I think she was like making, it was making sense to me. Like that's, that is one, some big changes that's in the society as far as, like she's talking about the whole, um, you get married, then you have sex for the first time. You know what I'm saying? But, it, but instead it's how like you get married and then you stop having sex with everybody else. Like that's the different mindset change. You know what I'm saying? Even the monogamy, it's like, you with one person till death do you part. That's how it was. But now it's like you with one person until the love dies and then you with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand that. It was literally just, I guess, slipping out. I couldn't understand a single word she was saying. I'm not fan of You want me for my look? Can I no, I don't want you. Don't say me. Don't say you, though. Without the Man, you know what I'm saying? This, this is it's, that right there. That the last one right there. That's a perfect example. When girls that's so used to other girl to guys like wanting them and simping over them and all that, and you come as a dude and just confidently reject, it's gonna make her either super angry, but ultimately at the end of the day, she's still gonna want you to want her. So she's gonna want you. You know what I'm saying? Because girls want to be wanted. So if you don't want them, they're gonna want. To make you want them, which in turn they'll have to want you to want them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a whole mind game. You know what I'm saying? But that's like a perfect example of it. If it's if it's a girl, now you can't do this really with ugly girls. Like if it's a girl that really don't get no attention, you can't you can't like not simp over her because she not used to people simping over them. But if it's a girl, like a, it's ten out of ten, nine out of ten, eight out of ten, whatever it is, your standards is. And you go up to the shawty, you know other people's talking to her, and you just like treat her like a regular person. She's gonna be intrigued, and she gonna want you. So stop simping. I'm trying to tell y'all, if you want a, if you want a baddie, stop simping. Just do you. Ignore them. Pretend like they just a regular regular person, or even less. Not even. I'm not gonna say less than a regular regular person. Well, kind of. Yeah, you treat them like they. They like not all that, you know what I'm saying? She's going to want you. It's 100 percent guaranteed to work. I'll be trying to. I'll be trying to tell y'all this for the past four years, bro. But well, anyways, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Big L's in the chat to everybody that took L's, especially that girl that proposed to the dude and got disrespected in front of everybody else when he said no. Um, big L's in the chat for her. L's in the chat for really a lot of people in this video. Like, especially the people that got slapped, man. Oh, Logan Paul got spit on. Yeah, a bunch of L's in this video. But um, that's for everybody. You know, what, you know another L that should be happening in this video? You liking it. So like the video, and I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly, wings to the sky. No, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.